What up, what up? You know what time it is. So today we're gonna put some parts on Haas. I've got a bunch of stuff that's coming in the mail. If you're watching on Instagram, I know you saw a little short uh, sneak peek of that stuff, but we got a bunch of stuff to do. But before we do that, I'm gonna take the uh, T-tops off. Let's go take a look over here. I'm gonna take the T-tops off. That way I get more light inside the car. It'll be a lot easier to work on. Uh, we've got some stuff for the inside, stuff for the outside. Uh, we're gonna fix this problem here of no headlights and stuff. So let's do this. As you can see, we got a bunch of stuff in for Motion Raceworks. Uh, we got some Golden Eagle manufacturing in the house. Uh, this Golden Eagle fuel rail is gonna look real nice with our intake manifold. You've seen it before. Uh, you saw on my Instagram, polished it up real nice. It's gonna look super nice in the car. We got some stuff from Blocks, Strange, and a package over there, so let's get to it. So Golden Eagle was cool enough to hook us up with the Pro Series fuel rail that matches our super duper cool intake manifold from them. Uh, if you ask my opinion, best pound for pound intake manifold for a K series, you can take that to the bank and cash it. So I'm just going to open this up with you guys. Um, if I have a tool to open it with, there we go. There's something. Yeah, if you guys ever need anything for your uh, for your K series, they do a lot of B series stuff and H series stuff. Uh, I know he's doing a build your engine program type thing. Uh, they do a lot of sleeving and stuff. Definitely uh, call up there. Ask for Bob. Bob's the guy. Uh, he's real cool. He's real nice to me. And uh, I really enjoy talking with him. Uh, I know he's uh, got a bunch of stuff going on up there. And a uh, real cool program. I'm happy to be a part of it. Uh, so here we go. Boom. That's what that's going to look like. So let's get it bolted up. Check that out, man. That thing looks sweet. Pro Series. I ah, mean, that, that is... A nice compliment to the uh, intake manifold that they make. I mean, that is, I'm blown away. Uh, really awesome job. Thanks, Bob. I really appreciate you. Um, cannot wait to put some fuel through that thing. As soon as we get some injectors going for the Haas Camaro. Don't let that tape whoop you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Haas needed this. Boom, shakalaka. What you think about them eyes, huh? That is what you'll see, and then taillights is where you'll be. How about that? Look at this thing. Man, oh man. I cannot wait to get this in here. I hope they line up. They're not super expensive or anything, but I forgot how to, I've forgotten how to do this. <laughs> I forgot, it's a while. It's been a while. Let's see here. Take that in there like so. Well, maybe because the bumper, I don't have the bumper support all the way up. That looks a lot better. There's still a gap, but hey, for the cheapest lights on Amazon, you can't go wrong. They look a heck of a lot better than what was on there then uh, when we got the car. So put some nice headlights on it, it'll go. You just need to see for 1,320 feet, right? So there you go. That's what Haas looks like with some eyeballs in them. It looks a lot better than nothing. And it looks a lot better than what we had in there, but I just wanted to do a test fit because I had heard that there were some issues with fitment, but this is a race car. And what do we know about race cars? Race cars don't have headlights, they have stickers. We just need to be able to see for the 1,320 feet. After that, I don't need them. We can run the parking lights or something. But I'm happy with them. I mean, for 100 bucks off of Amazon, I'm, I'm not going to complain. I'll take it. On to the next one. So my oil filter sits really close to the exhaust manifold. Uh, oil and heat don't ever mix. So I've decided to run a Blocks oil filter relocation kit. And it comes with a piece for the block, for your two lines to go out, remote filter location, super nice, and a bunch of fittings. Uh, but for now, I just want to go ahead and put the, pre, uh, the piece for the engine on and get rid of that nasty orange fram, uh, fram filter. So, out with that garbage. And with the good stuff. Boom. That's done. 
everything else can go into the box until we mount a location and lines and all that jazz. So we'll, we'll come back to it. I was really excited about this box from Motion Raceworks so much in the fact that I already opened it. Uh, Motion Raceworks does a lot of stuff uh, with Chevys and Mustangs and I happen to have a Chevy so I hit them up and ordered a lightweight chromoly steering column to replace the uh, abomination that's in there from Canada. Uh, that's just got to go. Uh, it's heavy, broken, no good, junk. Uh, I know Motion Race Works does a lot of work with uh, Cletus and stuff like that and they're always doing stuff with cars and I, I, I was like why not? You know they, they do it, they use it, must be good stuff so shout out to uh, Doug and all those guys up there. No, MPI. Max Pappas Innovations. Authentic product. Super nice. Uh, very lightweight. Like super, super lightweight. Um, I like it. it I, I went with the black uh, indexing portion there. I don't really need, I mean, not road racing or anything like that. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. It's got the slot cutouts for uh, buttons for like bump box and, and all that good stuff. I'm not going to need that, but hey, you never know. You may get crazy with this thing. Who knows? There we go. The piece de resistance, the lightweight chromoly steering column from Motion Raceworks. They pre weld the strange quick release five bolt. You can ask for a six bolt from them, uh, but I mean, that's that's choice right there. <laughs> there you go. So that's super cool. It weighs nothing. Take a look at that. Boom. You can adjust that collar there. Um, uh, you can watch. Uh, you can watch Doug's video on uh, the one for he did for the Fox body. This will obviously for Camaro, uh, for F body, but you can shorten it if you really wanted to. Um, on, I know on the Fox body, some guys shorten it for different uh, different racks and stuff like that, like Pinto racks that run like a U joint adapter. But won't need that with this one. This will bolt right up, um, right up to the firewall, and see you later. I did a gender reveal uh, with my folks, uh, my family, a while back, and I was sending it over the bed you know the bag of powder and all that and poof colored smoke and whatnot well when i did that this bastard did this on me and i was like oh you know what i mean so um this happens when uh people are too lazy to get out the proper way out of their car and over the years this starts to uh the tilt bushing starts to mess up um, i'm a heavier guy i ain't gonna lie i did it i got in and out of this thing many times just like that so um, don't have to worry about that no more. Don't have to worry about uh, grandmom's purse anymore for the airbag uh, or this stuff or any of this junk. No key that gets stuck all the time because of the stupid security chip. Uh, we'll, I'm going to get rid of all that and uh, put in that Motion Raceworks column right now. All right. So after much uh, effort with the, uh, with the steering column there, was able to uh, get the bolts out of the fire. There's three nut, uh, bolts that go through there. And uh, now, just take this last 13 off. You want to leave one on because otherwise, boom, right on your head. You know what I mean? Uh, Got to go inside the engine bay and undo the, the joint connector thingy about Bob. Gotta get a running start with that one. Yeah. Ooh, that thing's that thing is heavy. All that big old thing. You don't need that no more. All right, check that out. No more steering column. No more heavy General Motors steering column. Now, we'll put in our Motion Raceworks steering column and it'll be much, much cleaner. So, after further review, there's a piece of like this weird rubbery plasticky stuff underneath the dash uh, where the, uh, the cowl is and stuff. Some of you guys have already cut your cowl, no big deal, but this, you gotta get rid of it. Otherwise, this bottom plate hole 
will not line up. So once you get rid of that, you should be good. Well, you guys say, can say Gucci, right? Because it's gonna be Gucci. Let's see here. Try doing this with the stock column, one hand install. A few moments later. All right, check it out. Boom. There's your quick release from Strange. Super cool. Boom. Now let's put on our steering wheel. No plastic buttons for motion. That's pretty cool. Listen to this. That's metal. That's high quality stuff. Thanks, Doug. That's cool. You guys do cool stuff. I like it. Uh, so anyway, we'll put our button in there. Go ahead and line up our little uh, witches and getting thing here. There you go. Put the hub. Sick. That's pretty dope. Um, that's yeah. That's cool, man. That's that's real cool. So I'll go ahead and put this thing together here. Got a little bit of Loctite. A little blue. Some people use purple. I use the blue because. I use blue for just about everything unless I need red or uh, green. Green's metal on metal. It only works when metal makes contact with metal. That's when you want something to not come apart. Uh, ask me how I know, Mike. <laughs> there we go. A little bit on there. A little bit goes a long way. So there you go. It's probably more, way more than what I needed, but that's all right. There go. There's one. I'll go ahead and do all five of those, and I'll be right back. That's the last bolt. Boom. MPI steering wheel, motion race works button, strange quick release. Super nice. Very happy with this. So let's go put it on the car. Looks good. That's what's up. That's gonna do it for today. We got all the parts installed on Haas. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I got a bunch of turbo parts coming in for the next video, so make sure you tune in for that one. Until then, we'll see you next time. <laughs>